What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. Today we're talking about the latest collection from Ice Cream Nails which is called Space World and a bunch of you tagged me on social media about this collection and you knew that I had to try it. We've got something really funky today. But before we get into that, if you haven't heard of Ice Cream Nails before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in Australia but they're available internationally and all of their polishes are 10 free meaning they're free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal-derived ingredients. They're cruelty-free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. And all of their polishes are also plant-based and breathable. So we've got eight new polishes today. They're part of the regular Ice Cream Nails collection. Now, I do want to make a quick note. I recently did a video on the new Ice Cream Nails Plus line, which is a new line of polishes from Ice Cream Nails. They're a little bit different. They're the long wear polishes. They do come in a different bottle. A lot of people thought in that last video that that meant that Ice Cream Nails isn't doing their funky ice cream comb shaped bottles anymore, but they absolutely are. They still have their regular Ice Cream Nails line. So this is from their regular line. We still have the Ice Cream Cone bottles and it's the usual formula that we know and love from Ice Cream Nails. But anyway, we've got eight brand new polishes and they're all fine multi-chrome flakies. And when I saw this, I wasn't 100% sure what to expect. I figured they would be toppers, but to my surprise, they're actually full coverage flakies. So I'm going to be swatching all of them on their own, but then I'm also going to show you what they look like as a topper over black because you can technically wear them as a topper. They are still full coverage, which is really awesome. You can also potentially sponge them on, but I didn't even need to do that. So let me show you the swatches and you'll see why they're very unique to the nail polish world. And then we can talk a little bit more about my thoughts on them and pricing availability, all that stuff. So roll the footage. As with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today is the Orly Bonder base coat and don't mind that I accidentally cut my nail a little bit. <laughs> so just a note, if you're new to multi-chromes, a lot of them look fairly similar in the bottle just because they all have that kind of rainbow shine depending on how you look at them. But looking at them head on, there's usually a few main colors that you can see in each shade. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be pointing out in this. And then of course I'm doing all the comparisons at the end. So this first one is called Cosmic Ray. This is actually my favorite multi chrome color combination and basically head on you see a lot of this green into teal into blue into purple and then into a really intense fuchsia pink color and then at extreme angles you can also see red orange yellow and I just love this color in a multi-chrome. I think it's so gorgeous. It reminds me a little bit of like an oceanic vibe. And in three coats, this gave me full coverage and I was shocked. The formula was so easy to use. It didn't remind me of a full coverage glitter because I think flakies are a little bit easier to work with. And it just smoothed out on my nail really nicely even before I put top coat on. So I'm also gonna show you all of them over black just so you can see what they look like as a topper. This is a great way to just save the polish and get a similar look without using Using multiple coats but you can also pair this over any color and it still looks super awesome and then here's a quick comparison of what it looks like on its own versus over black very similar vibe next up we have the shade space invader this is another favorite of mine when it comes to multi-chrome color combinations and this one looking at it head-on the main colors are a sky blue kind of color into purple into fuchsia and then at the more extreme angles you can see a lot of orange into yellow into green again super super fun, a little bit oceanic, but this one also definitely gives me strong spacey vibes. And I also love the huge purple tones going on in here. I think it's just really fun. I love that blue shade. It's definitely a little bit of like a lighter sky blue, although at certain angles you get more of that rich primary blue kind of color as well. Smoothed itself out pretty nicely. I know they look like they're a little bit textured, but they're actually not. So you don't need to go crazy with multiple coats of top coat or anything. And then here's what it looks like over black. Again, a very similar vibe. In this case, I would say it definitely deepened up the color a little bit. And that's something that I noticed when it came to the shades that featured a lighter main color in the color shift. So you can see in the comparison on its own, it looks a little bit lighter and brighter and over black, it looks a little bit more of a deeper color, but still very similar. Next up, we have the shade Supernova. And this one actually looks exactly the same as Space Invader in the bottle, but on the nail, 
nails, it looks intensely different. So this one, looking at it head on, I would say the colors are more into the purple pink territory. So I see a sort of indigo purple kind of shade into that fuchsia pink kind of color. And then around the edges, you get the red, orange, yellow, green. So this one definitely leans more into the purpley pinky kind of vibes, but you still get a little bit of that blue in there looking at it head on as well. And again, such a gorgeous shade. It definitely feels like a nice warmer tone. You can even see some of that orangey color coming through on the edges of my nails. And it is just so rainbowy and pretty. Can't get enough of it. And honestly, can't get enough of how easy the formula was. It felt a lot easier than applying glitter. Actually, now that I'm saying that, I think I just said that five seconds ago, but it really was easy to apply. It feels very beginner friendly, surprisingly. So here's what it looks like over black. And again, it has a very similar look to it, but this does deepen up the color a little bit. And I do think it ended up pulling a little bit more of that blue coloring by wearing it over black. So it's another great way to kind of deepen up the shade. You can see it definitely looks a little bit brighter and a little bit more pinky purple, whereas over black, it looks a little bit more bluey purple. Next, we have the shade Afterburner, and this is another one that honestly in the bottle looks very similar to the others like Supernova. And on the nail, it actually at first kind of looks similar to Supernova, but again, we get different main color shifts going on here. And in this case, this is what I would consider to be one of the more unique multi-chrome colors because I don't really see brands do this one a lot. It looks head on like this blue into purple color. And then we also see this red red orange shade. So we get this really intense clash between the very, very cool shades of the spectrum and the very, very warm, fiery shades of the spectrum. And I always think it looks so interesting together. And of course you also get the other colors of the rainbow around the edges and at extreme angles, but I just love that blue orange shift. It just looks so cool to me. So here it is over black again, very similar vibe. If you don't want to go crazy with doing multiple layers of a flaky on your nail, you can always just do it over black and get a very similar color. And of course, since these aren't iridescent, the flakes look the same no matter which color you pair them over. So you can really experiment with a bunch of different shades. Moving on, we have the shade Stardust. And this is one of the shades that I would say is a little bit deceptive on camera. This type of multi-chrome color shift always doesn't look as great in videos or pictures as it does in real life, because I think there's such a strong blue color going going on in here that it's hard to pick up the other stuff that's going on unless you're seeing it in real life. So you can see head on this color just looks very intensely blue. Having these multi-chrome flakies, honestly on all of them, sort of has this interesting blackened kind of look around the edges, but you can also just see a tiny, tiny hint of the other colors that are in there. And again, it really doesn't do it justice because looking at it in real life, you can see this deep blackened purple color into red into this golden color as well. And it's really gorgeous, but even just as an intense deep blue color, I think this is a really pretty one. It feels very wintry. It feels very deep. And I think this is one of those shades that looks honestly exactly the same over black because it's such this blackened glitter color that it has the same intensity, even if you just do the one layer as a topper. Next, we have the shade Manic Martian, and this is another one of those super colorful ones. And this one, one is on the totally opposite side of the spectrum. So looking at it head on, you get this light pinky, almost coppery kind of color into orange, into an intense yellowed gold kind of shade. And then at the more extreme angles, you see green into blue, into even a little bit of purple. And this is one of the colors that I think really highlights how exciting and interesting a multi-chrome polish can be because you really get to see so many bright, fun colors at once. And it's just really cool. It definitely has the oil slick vibe, which is what multi-chrome polishes are. And this one I thought was actually really opaque. I feel like I could get away with doing it in two coats, but I did end up putting on three just so you could see what that looked like. And then here it is over black. And you can see again with a brighter color like this, it is going to look a little bit deeper when you put it over a black polish. So you can see a little bit of a difference with the brightness, but overall, again, 
very similar vibe, but very similar colors going on here. It's just a little bit more of an intense blackened version of it. Moving on, we have the shade Moon Gold, and this is another deceptively simple one, but when multi-chrome pigments first started popping up in the nail polish world, this was the color combination that I was the most drawn to because I thought it was the most subtle, but also had so much visual interest going on. It almost felt like you were being tricked into thinking that you had a plain gold polish, but then at these different angles, you got to see all sorts of exciting colors. So in the video, honestly, it just looks pretty much like a yellowy gold, but in real life, you get a little bit of a green into blue shift. And it almost reminds me a little bit of like pirate treasure. I don't know, because it's like got the oceanic colors going on in there, but it also has that intense yellowy gold shade. So it's a lot of fun. I do think that this one gets a little bit more muted when you wear it over black because it starts to look a little bit like just a plain yellowy gold topper, but it is a cool way to wear your manicure. I think that this kind of color would really excel over a shade like a deep red or over like a deep green. I think that would really bring out the multi-chrome color in it. And the final shade in the collection, this one is called Intergalactic. It's actually a little bit different from the rest. This one, instead of being a multi-chrome flaky polish, it's actually a multi-chrome flaky that's in a black jelly base. So you can see it's a nice sheer color that does build up. For me, I ended up doing three coats and I got full coverage. And then within it, we get a nice multi-chrome shift that head on looks pink into orange, into yellow, and then at the extreme angle, Angles, you see a little bit more of a green color. Definitely nice and warm, especially with that jelly base and me having warm undertones. It looks like even that warm black color coming in. Personally, I didn't love this one as much. I think I would have loved it if it was in a different collection, but I do think that the full coverage multi-chromes are a lot more interesting and fun. So here's what it looks like over black. It just kind of deepens that base color, cools it down a little bit, especially for me because I am pretty warm toned, but you can't see that through the full coverage black. And here they are side by side. You also might notice I have a holographic phone case that I didn't realize would be reflecting on my nails, but I think it really only reflected in this one polish. So sorry about that. But yeah, not a huge fan of this one, but it is pretty on its own. So then here are all of the polishes together. And like I said, you can see some similarities in some of these colors, but especially not moving around much with a screenshot here, it's hard to see just how interesting and rainbowy these polishes are. So it's a lot of fun seeing them in person. I feel like whenever I wear a multi-chrome polish, I'm always so distracted by my nails because I'm so curious to see how different it can look at different angles and in different lighting situations. So it's a lot of fun to play around with, but I love the amount of colors that we get here. I love love all of the different combinations and I think they're all really gorgeous. I would love to see what they look like layering multiple colors on top of each other. So that's something I'm definitely going to be playing around with. But let me also show you really quickly the comparison chart of all of them over black. Here's what that looks like. If you do want to save the polishes and use them a little bit more sparingly, you can always wear them over black and get an incredibly similar vibe. The only thing I would say is with some of the brighter shades, especially ones that more prominently feature a gold or pink color, they are going to look a little bit darker over black just because you're not getting multiple layers of that bright color coming through. So just something to keep in mind, but I do think that this is a great way to make your polish last longer. And it's also really great for if you want removal to be a little bit easier. I will say as a whole, these are easier to remove than regular glitters, which tend to be more difficult to use. Fleekies are a little bit thinner, so they're not as difficult to remove, but they are slightly more difficult than regular polish. So just stuff to keep in mind, but I do think wearing it as a topper makes it a little bit easier to remove as well. So those are the polishes. And like I said, this is just a really interesting twist on multi-chromes. I've actually said this when talking about multi-chrome magnetics, because I've always felt like there's only so much you can do with multi-chrome pigment. A bunch of brands have done multi-chrome collections and and they're awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love multi-chromes, but once you have it from one brand, you don't really need 
all of the variations from different brands that are the same exact color. And when I first saw the concept of multi-chrome magnetics, I felt like that was such a funky twist. And I was like, there's not going to be anything else that people can do with multi-chromes. And yet here we are. This is the first time I've ever seen full coverage multi-chrome flakes. And I think that they make the color a little bit more interesting on the nail just because they're more multifaceted. So when you're working with a full coverage multi-chrome nail polish, you really get one color across your nails and then it moves when you kind of move your nail around at different angles. In this case, even without moving your nails, you can see different angles and colors within the polish just because there's little bits that have different edges. You know what I mean? But it still gives such a multi-dimensional look to the polish and I think that is so much fun. And of course, I like that you can use them as a top coat, but I just really appreciate that they're full coverage. So I'm very excited about these. I really enjoyed them. I love that it's a nice big collection so you get a lot of color options. And overall, I think it's actually pretty unique. So these polishes come in 10 milliliter bottles. Like I said, it's the usual ice cream nails bottle. So it looks like a little ice cream cone. They come with what I like to call a medium wide flat brush. So it's not too wide, but it's not too thin. And like I said, they do have the little ice cream cone cap, but it's actually not difficult to use at all. And all of these polishes retail for $13.50 USD on the ice cream nails website. And I've got a discount code. You can use the code Kelly 20 to get 20% off your order there. So I'm going to link that down in the description. But yeah, I would love to know what, what you guys think of these. If you're into the multi-chrome flakies, if maybe you prefer regular multi-chromes, or maybe you're curious to see what a multi-chrome flaky looks like over a multi-chrome nail polish, because I'm definitely going to be doing that in an experiment. So leave all of your thoughts down in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocketman's daughter, Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Caroline and Caroline wants to know, how would your perfect house or apartment building look if anything goes? I'm going to be totally honest. I'm not a particularly picky person. I don't think I've ever had in my mind a set image of what my dream place looks like. So it's hard for me to think up something because I feel like there's just so many things that I would love. I'm not as much of a creative person when it comes to architecture or, you know, layout or decor or anything like that. So I feel like I'm not good at coming up with the idea. I just like things that I see, but I, I can say that there are a few things that I think I don't want to live without. I'm sure you guys already know these because I've talked about them extensively on my vlog channel. But now that I'm living in a place that has a pantry and a balcony, which have been my two dreams to always have, I don't know that I ever want to live somewhere that doesn't have those things. So I think that that's been really huge for me. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that like I think is important to me. And I don't know that I can think of anything. I mean, I, I would like to have countertops in the kitchen that I can put hot things on without worrying or, or worry about staining. So I guess that's kind of an important feature to me. And also I like having, you know, windows in a bright open space. But when it comes to filming, I need to have a very dark cavernous space. So I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of open to anything. I love, you know, looking at house tours and stuff like that on YouTube, but I've never been like, I need that. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm pretty open. I feel like when I find something I like, I'll just be like, this is good, <laughs> which is kind of a boring answer. But yeah, I, I don't know. Does anybody have any very specific needs in their dream house or apartment? You can leave it in the comments. We can chat about it and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.